Welcome to May. This is your general reading that will cover the general theme, the beginning, middle, and end of the month, the best part of the month, the biggest challenge, and then guidance and give you your crystal of the month that'll help you get through it um, as unscathed and as easy as possible, okay? It'll help you with all the things that you need. So um, this is for your sun sign. Career videos are gonna look like this and they'll come out soon. Um, so make sure you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell so you know when they come out. They are for your rising sign. This video right here will tell you um, why that is if you're not sure and then love videos come out halfway through the month and this is what they're gonna look like okay so let's get started if you're interested in what decks i'm using for this reading i've got the cosmic tribe tarot looks like this and then the angel prayers oracle by kyle gray um if you purchase them through the affiliate links down below i might get a couple cents which would be helpful in me continuing to make these videos because youtube pays you like I don't know, $20 a year. <laughs> um, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. So I would appreciate that if you're interested in buying a deck. And so, Gemini. The general theme for the month for you, Gemini, is that there's a lot going on all over the place. And it's hard to identify what is the most important thing, where do I prioritize? A lot of things are important, and so it's confusing you, honestly. And so maybe the biggest priority for you needs to just be fun, celebrating things as they are right now, and then everything kind of will line itself up after, okay? So I wanna be looking at the beginning, middle, and end of the month's vibes for you. In the beginning, it seems like nothing's really changing, like nothing's blossoming, nothing's growing, like you're just stuck in this little cocoon forever, right? And so then there's that need to prioritize, but you can't do it and it's super confusing, which is part of the reason a lot of signs are going through this. Um, so I'm opening up, um, maybe just for May, uh, a two hour, mini coaching session for um, purpose and happiness, which you can find in the description box below. Um, so anyway, that's the vibe. And here's the thing is it's like, so you're not stuck in this forever and you might kind of know that and you're like, ah, oh, maybe it's not so bad. But by the time you get to the end of the month, you're not feeling super confident that it's really gonna change ever right and that's the that's the big issue so the best part of the month for you here is that you know being non-committed means that you can change your plan that you can try a lot of things um the biggest challenge for you though is actually deciding what we're going to let go of here a lot of you are going to have a hard time letting go of certain things letting things end so that new and better can flow into its place and so um it's like you understand that it needs to happen and you've had this awareness, but maybe you worked really hard on something, right? Maybe you invested a lot of time and energy and so you just don't wanna. It's like you're a child in the corner like, I don't wanna. But um, you know, towards the end of the month, I think that's gonna be really important for you. So the overall guidance for you actually is to find that balance, okay? Um, and you know, what is it that a lot of, um, book writers, like on time management and business and stuff, they say only 20% of the work we do produces 80% of our results. So we should de delegate other things out. And so, you know, I feel like that's your biggest challenge this month. 80% of the rewards that you have in your life, whether that is career related, relationship related, comes from 20% of the shit that you do. So why don't we find a balance of like doing that 50% of the time, you know, that 20% and then sorting like our rest time and that other 80% of shit into like a smaller prioritization category. Um, your crystal of the month is brown jasper. And so hopefully you have one at home already. If you don't, you can get one from me or from somebody else, but the link to why that um, I'm just going to put a general link to my blog page, okay? Um, but in the crystal section, the crystal meaning section, you can figure out why that would be most beneficial for you this month. I love you so much, and I will see you next month.